Sometimes when you're building VR games, it can be kind of annoying having to put on a headset every single time you want to test your game. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build out a temporary rig to use in the Unity editor while you're testing things for your game, but you can still build to a rig if you want to build the game and try in a headset. First step is we're going to create an empty game object, and then we're going to add a capsule as a child to that game object to represent our player body, and then we're going to add a camera as a child to the capsule for our player head. We're then going to create a new script, and we're going to add that script to the player body. Inside of the script, we're going to specify at the top that we want to use the Unity Engine.input system, and then we're going to add some public fields to the top of the script. Two input action references uh, that will represent our horizontal and vertical mouse look, a float for our look speed, and a transform that is going to represent the transform of the camera that we have inside of the cylinder that represents our player's head. We are also going to have two private variables uh, for the pitch and the yaw of the game objects. Before we start writing the script, I wanted to show you where these input actions are coming from. So we're going to create a brand new input action map. Inside of the input action map, we're going to create two fields, one for horizontal look and one for vertical look. We're then going to specify that each of those actions is going to be a value type and that it is going, the value is going to be on an axis because we're going to grab our delta axis changes of our mouse movements. We can then specify the binding to be the mouse delta y for vertical look and mouse delta x for the horizontal look. Make sure to save the action map before you exit the editor and let's go back to the script. Now we're going to reference those input action references that we just created in our inspector for the mouse look script. And then we're also going to move in our camera transform that we also specified. So I feel like I need to explain a little bit about how the new input system works. So every single input action reference has sort of a little bucket inside of it where you can place callback functions that will be executed whenever that action is performed. So the way to specify those is to reference the input reference dot action dot performed plus equals and then the name of the callback function. Our callback functions will then accept one argument, which is of type input action dot callback context, and then you can call it whatever you want. And inside of that object that gets given to you by the Unity system has information about the action that just occurred. We then want to pull the information from that uh, object with the read value method and we'll grab the float and then we'll apply that to the pitch and the yaw respectively and then we will use transform.local rotation we'll create a new rotation with angle access and specify the angle that we want to make the rotation on one of the last things is we can multiply the pitch and the yaw inside of our angle access method to control the look sensitivity of the mouse movements. We're then going to add an input action manager to our newly created camera rig, and we're going to assign our mouse input action map that we created earlier. And that should be it. You should be able to press play as long as you have the old XR rig disabled and this new one enabled. You should be able to press play and look around. If you can't, I would double check the look sensitivity to make sure that isn't set to zero. But other than that, it should be working now. The next step is we're going to write a script that will auto detect what platform the game is running on because it can get a little annoying having to enable and disable the different XR and WebGL rigs. The script is actually going to be relatively simple. So first we're going to create a parent game object for both our rigs and we're just going to call that player rig and then we're going to place both game objects inside of it. We're then going to create a new script on that parent game object called set VR or not. And inside of the script, we're just going to create two public fields that's going to take the game objects of the XR rig and the WebGL rig. We're then going to create a private variable that is a Boolean that is is VR or not. And then we will compare the application.platform value, which is the platform the application is running in, 
to these default values of runtime dot and then it's a particular value. So in this case, it's runtime dot Android or runtime dot WebGL player. Then at the very bottom of our script, we're going to set the particular rig active or inactive based on that Boolean value we set. And now once we attach our two player rigs to our set VR script, we should be able to hit play and it will launch us in the WebGL player. And if you compile the game and run it on your headset, you will be able to use it using the XR rig. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this. I was trying out a new format with this kind of more planned out voiceover. Let me know what you liked in the comments. Uh, if you like this style or the other style of video. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.